Howdy folks, Carl Jordan here with another First Glance Agronomy Thought. I'm an agronomist in Northwest Indiana and Northeast Illinois, uh, trying to help you answer the question of, when should I consider replant in my corn crop? So we're taking a look at a field of relatively early planted corn uh, for 2024. You're looking at the first, or pardon me, the last week of April. Um, and we're at about first, second collar. So um, we're far enough along that it's easy to go ahead and make stand establishment decisions. Uh, five, 10 years ago, we'd be using our handy dandy tape measure. 2024, we can leverage drone technology to get more accurate and uh, an increased sample size across the field, uh, better than what uh, you and I can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and fly this drone to uh, give us that, that accurate count. Um, that's going to give us a number. The question we need to answer is, is this number high enough for peace of mind uh, or is it too low and we should consider replanting? And so the best way to answer that question is to refer back to some 30 year old uh, extension work uh, done by Emerson Nafziger at University of Illinois. Great publication where they take uh, planting dates over the course of a growing, over the course of a season and then compare that to what the final stand is. And then the intersection of that data is what is your what is your relative yield and we'd like to optimize that and what you'd see from that work is the earlier we plant in that optimal window called the last week or two of april the first couple weeks of may um, with a thicker stand uh, we're going to capture that yield potential anything outside of those bounds we're going to have less yield potential so the question is what's our stand here and is that yield potential greater than when we're going to get back in the field for a replant here and hopefully achieve 95%, 100% of our desired stand. So that's a great way to leverage extension publications. But like I said, that was 30 year old research. And in the world of corn breeding, we've made a lot of strides with respect to um, better interplant competition and handling that stress. So we're not aiming for 150 bushel corn anymore. Uh, the goal is at least 200 bushel corn, um, if not higher. And so I go ahead and view that extension chart through a little bit different lens. I increase the optimal plant populations to account for the increased tolerance for stress with uh, 2024 genetics as compared to 1994. So I'd be curious uh, your thoughts on if we should leave this stand um, or if we should go ahead and go ahead and replant. Uh, the growers thought was 26,000 is the bottom. Um, I concurred that 26, perhaps 28,000 is um, all the further that I would like to see it off the pace of that optimal 33, 34, given this situation. Um, but again, that's informed by planting the last week of April, and it's probably gonna be the third or fourth week of May before we're going to get back in here for a replant. So drop me your thoughts on uh, what you do here, given the circumstances. And um, if you'd like to follow along for more content like this, you can check me out on X, that's at Cjorn, C-J-O-E-R-N, or on Facebook at Cjorn Agronomy. And with that, we will see you down the road. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.